Welcome. This is the first review that I've done for any pistol. Um, this review is going to be for the Ruger P95, the 9mm um, you know, carbon polymer frame with a stainless steel slide. It's, it feels good in the hand. Bought it a couple months ago from Cheaper Than Dirt. It's 9mm, has a magazine with 15 in the magazine, one in the pipe, so when you're carrying you have upwards of 16 shots at your disposal. It's a double action for the first shot, single action for every shot after that. Uh, the trigger pull is pretty substantial for the first shot. After that it's like butter. It's extremely light, extremely easy. Um, it was a little uncomfortable at first. I bought a Hogue handall grip, which really, really adds a lot of uh, a lot of grip on it. The misleading thing about it is that it's supposed to be for carry and conceal, and that's great. But I have a full size 1911, which is actually thinner in body than this. This is shorter. And it's only a 3.9 inch barrel. Um, and the overall length is just over 6 inches or so. But it's thicker and it's beefier in the hand, which is good if you've got hands like mine. But if you're a smaller frame person or weak ass like my brother, your hands may not be appropriate. Either way, it's a breeze to load, it's a breeze to disassemble. To disassemble, you have your magazine release, really easy. Pull back, push, locking pin out. I'm not a gunsmith, so I'm not going to give you the technical terms because I don't know them offhand. This pulls out extremely easy. There's a little hatch in there. Just push that down. That slides right off. This is the bottom. This is all we're going to be dealing with that. For the slide, stainless steel slide, you got to love stainless. It's the guide rod with a spring built in. doesn't come off. I mean, I've tried. I'm sure you could if you need to replace it, but you don't really need to. You can clean it off pretty easy. The barrel, really short barrel. Pretty clean. Eh, a little clean. Assembly is really easy. Just toss the barrel in, put the guide rod in. It slides extremely easy. When you're cleaning, you want to get all the locking bits. Put the hatch down. Connects like that. Hold back. Use your fingers to stop. Extremely easy to put together and tear down. You just have to practice. Now this might concern some people. Once you're assembling it, you're going to have that little nubbin. And you're going to have the hammer back. But if the safety's on, I've tried this a thousand times, the hammer doesn't strike the firing pin. As silly as that sounds. Only if the safety's off. If the safety's on, every time you cock the slide back and push forward, it will not fire. No misfires yet, no accidents yet. Um, there's actually a safety lock back here. The block system rotates so that unless the safety is off, it's not going to strike. So it might scare some people doing that, but it's not going to fire. Um, the sights aren't bad. It's a three dot system, which annoys a lot of people, but it works all right for me. Um, there's a Picatinny rail, which is probably great for accessories thinking about Surefire, I'm not sure, we'll see. Um, Crimson Trace also does lasers for everybody, um, but Surefire is probably going to be the best one for this because it's an optical and a light at the same time, but it costs more than a gun. The gun only costs 300 bucks. But for 300 bucks, it's extremely accurate at 50 yards with really shitty Walmart 9mm ball ammunition 
just getting groupings of two to two and a half inches, clusters of four or five shots in that uh, small circle. With the Russian stuff, I can get it down to two inches, but you can't reload. But the best ammo is the Federal Hollow Point. Um, it's also I've also gotten the high shock for it. This is accurate as hell. I can get it in less than an inch um, groupings, you know, five shots within less than an inch circle. Uh, really tight groupings, really good grip. The only complication is that if you're weak handing it and you're not following through, the gun will jam. It will fail your feed. It will stick. Um, you just have to not be a limp wrist dingleberry to fire it and get it done appropriately. It's extremely accurate. It's pretty decent for carry if you have a, a, a paddle holster or even a shoulder holster. Um, it's light enough, although since it's a double stack magazine, um, it does add a little bit of weight with the magazine fully loaded. Like I said, 15 in the mag, one in the pipe. Great gun. Um, my first uh, pistol that I've personally owned. Uh, I'd buy another Ruger any day. It's really, really well done pistol. Easy to clean, easy to disassemble. When you're field stripping it, it maybe takes 30 seconds at most if you're taking your time. Putting it back together is a breeze. The only real complications is that if you're limp wristing it, it's going to jam. Or if you don't like a thicker gun, because that's a thicker gun, um, it's probably not going to fit you too well. But for everyday carry, it's nice. The frame's nice, the stainless steel is nice, not a single complication. Um, if anything, I might be changing out some springs, but that's it because I put enough rounds in it to, to deem it necessary. Otherwise, uh, great pistol. I'm not going to give it a rating, but I'll just say it's good. Thank you.